What's up? This is your boy TNT Barbecue. I'm out here uh, today. I'm doing a special cook. I'm doing a cook just salt and pepper ribs, and I'm using my mop sauce. So this is a collaboration with my boy over at the meat stall. My boy Rick has I card up above. Go check him out. I'm telling you what, guys. He's doing some uh, black pepper and salt ribs. We are using pellet grills today. Yes, pellet grills. So. Uh, Put old rusty. This just be a waste of wood for old rusty. But uh, yeah, that's what we doing. I'm gonna bring you in close, and I'm gonna show you how to trim your ribs up. I'm gonna, we're gonna do the mop sauce, and also on the iCard up above, I'm gonna put a uh, my mop sauce video on the iCard up above. Okay, so please check out that mop sauce video. We're gonna be using that today. Okay, so this your boy TNT. I'm gonna bring you in, and uh, we're gonna get to trimming these ribs. Okay. All right, let's you see what we're looking at. We got some beautiful um, uh, St. Louis style ribs I got from a local grocery store. As you can see, they're uh, pretty meaty, but I want to start off. They've been washed, they've been rinsed. Uh, I want to start off by cutting this fat right off here, okay? This is too much fat, so you want to make sure you can take your fat off, all right? And then this little lip, I don't like having that on the back of my ribs. Uh, sometimes a lot bigger than normal but this one is a little smaller okay so in our house we are a um what i call a membrane own kind of guy is is not that i i just i just prefer my ribs when i'm cooking membrane on okay that's just that's just me i know you may say it's elementary but hey whatever you want to call it i like my membrane to me it, it, it has a juicier product okay so uh, yeah, there's a lot of videos like that with membrane on, membrane off videos. If you want to look that up for yourself, uh, some people say they don't do, but see that fat right there. To me, that fat goes into the meat and keeps the meat juicier. That's just my personal opinion. But uh, everybody got an opinion about barbecue, so let's just roll with it. If I was doing beef ribs, beef back ribs, I take them off. But since I'm not, um, yeah. So, uh, what I like doing is I like just making sure I got all the bones off of them. And uh, I go and uh, fan them out first. That's the first thing I do, fan them out. And I just make uh, sure that all the bits and pieces that gonna burn, I wanna cut them off, okay? I think, uh, you know, I think this is gonna dry it on me. So I'm gonna go ahead to this last bone right here. And I'm just gonna make a line where I wanna cut, and I just I just fall out of line. And yeah, so I just cook this steel, but that'll be different. And then I wanna go ahead and no, we don't want no jagged pieces on our ribs. Nothing jagged. Nothing that on uh hinder nothing. So that's what we doing. All right, I'm there. So that, that's how I got that rib trimmed. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this next one just in case y'all didn't uh, pick up what we laying down. So like that one, they got a uh, they got a bigger flap to the back of it. And I just go, I just fall it down just like such. That's good on the grill. Okay, well, as you can see, uh, I'm just making sure everything is uh, even. And this is the, as you can see that fat right there, I'm gonna cut that bone right there off. So uh, that bone right there, I'm just gonna follow the line and make one good cut. Cut that bone off, I'm still cook it. But yeah, as you can see, it made that rib look a lot better. And I'm gonna find this last bone over here. I'm just gonna cut a straight line. And I'm gonna box these ribs in to make them look uniform. And, and this is a, not a, uh, this slab ain't good as the last slab for his appearance. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and I just keep pressure on that and I just let my knife do the work. As you can see, that kind of 
squared up that little piece right there. And I do the same thing right here, okay? Go ahead, let my knife do the work. So now, I just go ahead. I like to dry my ribs off, make sure they're pretty dry. Make sure everything is dry. You can see these ribs right here. You can tell they're great ribs. Look at that, it in muscular fat. Man, that these are some outstanding ribs. And, and as you can see, when I first started, they was a lot bigger than what they were. But I wanna make sure my ribs are very dry. Cause I wanna make sure that, um, I wanna start off with a dry product, okay? So, uh, yep, that's what I wanna do. So I clean the cutting board up a little bit with the same paper towel. And uh, yep. So I wanna leave my ribs, uh, I'm, I'm gonna season all that over there. But I wanna leave my ribs uh, bone side down, bone side up when I'm getting ready to season, okay? <clears throat> all right now, so let's get to talk about seasoning. This is per volume. So we're not using weight, we're using a container. On those containers, I like to add just 50-50 uh, salt, 50% salt, cause uh, salt is way heavier than that black pepper and you wanna add 50% black pepper, okay? So uh, that, that's what I'm doing right now. And just want to give it a good shaking. Make sure that that, that black pepper and salt is very dispersed pretty good in the in what body you're using, okay? For our next ingredient, we just got regular old vegetable oil, okay? And this vegetable oil, we're gonna use that to apply the meat with. This is gonna help with color, this is gonna help with the rub sticking. This is uh, just regular old vegetable oil, okay? So let's bring in while we get these ribs seasoned. I'm gonna have one hand for the rub, the other hand for uh, seasoning. Season with, okay? So I wanna start off with just a little light coating of this vegetable oil. Not too much, but just a little light coating. And that's all I'm doing. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all over the place, okay? When it comes to my ribs, all right? Make sure you get all your ribs. And you'll know when you put this vegetable oil on because it's starting to shine everything up. And then I want to add my mixture of black pepper and salt. So I just want to start on the hill bone. And remember, you want to keep everything moving. You want to disperse evenly. And remember, you're dealing with a little, you're dealing with a little, oh, uh, thin slab of meat, so you don't want to go too heavy, okay? So, that's why I do. Pat it in. I see a couple pieces right here, and I want to get down here, right here, at the bottom of it. And I want to get this bottom right here too. I mean, not the bottom, but the sides. So I always want to get the sides. Yep. And make sure I get this side over here. Everything in like such. All right. So same thing on this side right here. You want to go and just want to rub it in. The, the vegetable oil that is. You don't want to leave no polo. So if you can, if you put too much, just use your cutting board. Okay. That's why I got. Uh, some dish water started because I and then you can use the and right here you want to just and that's it 
That's what we got right here. I'm gonna let them hang out. I'm gonna get these little scraps seasoned. While these hanging out, I'm gonna go get the grill fired up. We're using the Pit Boss grill. And we're gonna get that fired up, okay? I'm gonna get the rest of this uh, straps, I call them, seasoned up, all right? Let's go. All right, guys, so right now I got my Pit Boss fired up. I'm using a mixture of pecan and cherry wood. So pecan and cherry wood. Uh, I got my warning my smoker. As you can see, it's smoking away. We're running at 200 degrees for the first two hours. And then we're gonna crank this bad baby up, all right? And, that's what, and after that, we're, we'll start applying the mop sauce, okay? So I'm a prime believer on how you put your ribs on the smokers, how they cook, okay? So I uh, got my black pepper and salt ribs. I wanna place them in there and I wanna squish the bones up, so. Yeah, I wanna squish the ribs up, so. They can cook uh, better. To me, it pushes the meat up over the bones, and it has a wonderful presentation at the end. Smush the ribs up for the meat to uh, the meat in between the bones can be more meaty, and, and the appearance looks a lot better. And then uh, I do the same thing to this next rack. Excuse my reach. All right, so uh, that's what we have. Nice color, we're picking up on these right here. I'm going with that TNT mop sauce, guys, yep. So, uh, you can see the onions and, and, and peppers are picking up on there. And my rub is not coming off, so uh, yeah, you got the weight. And you get your nice mop brush from Amazon. Yes, yes, sir. Everything get the mop sauce. All right. And this help with the color. Help tender it up. And now, as you can see, we mop the ribs. I'm gonna close the door. And we're gonna crank the smoker up, okay? Cut this up to, uh, I think I'm gonna go 300 degrees right now. Got no smoke, so I'm gonna do 300 degrees. Get it going, all right? So that's what we're doing. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mop probably every 30 minutes, okay? All right, guys, so it's been enough 30 minutes. Well, actually 45 minutes, kinda got away from me. I'm gonna go in and mop the rib. Oh my goodness. I got to bring y'all in to see this, but we're gonna hit it with some of this mop sauce. Yes, baby. Mop sauce, baby. Let's see what they're doing. Man, look at our backside. Yeah. That looking good, baby. I think we can go ahead and let them go. Alright, let's let them go and see what they do. I'm going to take your ribs off, guys, okay? Alright, I'll see it. The ribs are looking delicious, man. Okay. There they go right there, guys. Oh my goodness. Y'all get close up when they look at the pull back, Uncle said. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, it's nice, ain't it, Uncle said? Yeah. Man, and that bro, that mop sauce did his job. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 yes. Let's look at him on the camera, Uncle said. 
man, look at that dog, man. God to my no. Yes, that mop sauce that made them look delicious. All right, I'm gonna see let's get them in the house. All right, guys, can y'all see the color on these dog on ribs and the pull back on these bones? Look at the bones pulled back. And they are super tender, man. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to uh, cut these up and show them to y'all guys. We're gonna rest for about um, 10 or 15 minutes, then I'll cool down and rest. We're gonna leave them out here and we're gonna cut them up for you. And next shot y'all see us will be. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and cut one of these slabs up. I'm gonna put the other one off to the side. And, and this is the rib we're gonna cut up right here, okay? I'm going to flip them over because I want to flip them over. I want to cut with the bone. And yeah, you can see the nice back of it. You can see how tender and the, the pull back on the bones are. So uh, I think I'm going to go right down see, and start in the middle, okay? Yeah, I'm starting in the middle. Yes. And, and I'm cutting between the bones, guys, and I'm gonna just uh, uh, cut between the bones right there. And you can see how we, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over. Flip them over one time for you, for you. And man, as I can see, juice is just, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that dough. Can y'all pick up that dough? Oh, that looks nice though, Uncle Say. Mm -hmm. Look at that, guys. Oh, my goodness. And you can see the juiciness in that dough. And you can see how the bark is set up on there real nice. And man, uh, how beautiful these ribs are, how juicy they are. I want to just show you this right here, guys. Look at that juice, man. Moist, juicy, sticky ribs, yummy. All right, this your boy TNT. We're gonna be out for right, a taste. Say, tell me what you think about these ribs. Oh, you did a good job this morning. Okay. Got the bark nice on them. All right. Man, okay. okay. Let me taste it and see what you did. All right, well, I want you to grab that one, Dom said. Well, I gotta grab it when you hit your fingers on Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're you right. grab it out. I'm gonna grab that one then. Thanks, sir. All right, look at the smoke ring, Uncle said. Oh, yeah, I'm looking at that one. And before we, and before we start, I just want to say hashtag Pit Boss Nation. Hashtag Pit Boss Nation. You ready, Uncle said? Yeah, look at that, man. The smoke yeah, ring? Yeah, they almost went together. They almost did, did they? They almost touched. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that bite. Mm, boy, it's crispy, too. Mm. Mm. Hey. Yeah, you did it, man. That's it? Yeah, hell yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Smoky. Got salt. You can taste the you can taste the mop. Mm -hmm. You can taste the black pepper, you can taste the season all the way down to the bone. And guys, you don't always need aluminum foil, butcher pepper, you don't always need that, do you know what Just black pepper salt and a good rub. I mean black pepper salt and a good mop, excuse me. And when you mop the ribs, just mop every, uh, every, every about 25, 30 minutes after we start mopping. Right. And look at the outcome, guys. I mean, it is, it is look at this, man. Yeah, it, really, yeah. it just comes right off the bone. Look at the juices, you know. You ain't wrapping it now. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good, man. I ain't gonna lie. All right, boy TNT, and what Uncle said. Hey, God bless you. God bless America. Peace. And peace and hey, hey, share with my boy Rick for the meat star. See what he came up with. I think Rick gonna use his offset smoker. Yeah, that's what he said, the offset smoker. Okay, Rick gonna use his offset smoker. So go over there and check what Rick doing out, guys. We love you. God bless you and God bless America, guys. Peace.